Hey basketball players, today I am going to be breaking down Chris Paul and his basketball shooting form. Let's get down and let's check this out. Okay, so in this first clip we have Chris Paul driving towards the elbow. When he picks up that ball, he picks it up in front of his body, and then what we start with, or at least what I like to start with, is his feet. And what we see here is both of his feet are pointing towards the rim, and his right foot is slightly in front of his left, and that's because he's a right-handed shooter, and having your right foot in front of your left for a right-handed shooter is going to give you more power, but also a little bit more accuracy. We also see when he goes up for a shot that his shoulders, his left shoulder is slightly back from his right but still very square towards the rim and then same as his hips and knees. This is going to give him a very, very accurate shot and then what we see is his set point seems to be on the right side of his forehead however his hand being in front of his right eye. Now from there what we do see is his off hand is on the side of the ball closer to the top. It's not going to be underneath or right on top as some players do and this is where a, what a lot of coaches will teach you as a shooter is to have your hand on the side of the ball. We also see that there is a little bit of a gap between his palm and the ball and you do want to have that because that's going to give you more control over that ball. Now we see from this angle that his shooting form is not right on his forehead or actually anywhere close. There's actually pretty well a four to six inch difference or space between the ball and his forehead and from there that is going to give him the line of sight to be able to shoot that ball. And then from this angle, we actually get to see his elbow and his shoulder. And his shoulder is in line with his elbow towards the rim. That's going to give him a very accurate shot as well. What we do also see in this clear image is that the ball is slightly to the left of his head but over his forehead. His arm is at roughly a 45 degree angle when it comes to the wrist to elbow and back to his shoulder and what that's going to give him is more power on his shot however it's going to be a couple one hundredths of a second slower than if he was to have a 90 degree angle on his arm for his shot. When we start slowing it down and going into his release, we see that the left hand totally releases from the ball. Unlike Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving who shoot with a thumb flick, Chris Paul does not. Now when he goes to release this ball, we notice that it goes off two fingers. There's three different types of releases when it comes to your hand. There is the middle finger release, which is what I personally use. Depending on if I'm drifting in my shot, I may also go off my middle finger and my ring finger. However, Chris Paul, on his shot and in every single shot that he takes, will have the ball go off his middle and pointer finger as we see right there. Comment below on what you think about my drawing of the hand. And now from this angle, we can see that it's actually between a 90 and 45 degree angle, so that is why he's able to get his shot up around really good defenders like Marcus Smart. Now, something about Chris Paul is his footwork and how he's able to get his shot up over top of defenders. Now, with his shooting form, what he does after going around a screen is he'll go, if he's going towards the right, He's going to hop off of his right foot, and then he goes left right, he kicks that right foot around slightly, and that's going to allow him to stop his momentum in that direction and move it into an upwards momentum, so that now he can have more power on his shot. 
Chris Paul is one of the best shooters when it comes to guards in the NBA. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I hope that this video has given you some tips on how you can improve your shot as well. And I will see you guys again next time in another one of my videos.